In modern warfare, submarines serve as the ultimate stealth weapons, capable of launching devastating strikes while remaining undetected in the depths of the ocean. A formidable submarine fleet not only ensures national security but also establishes a powerful nuclear deterrence, preventing adversaries from taking aggressive actions. For India, a nation with vast coastlines and strategic maritime interests, strengthening its underwater strike capabilities is critical. While global naval powers like the United States, Russia, and China have long invested in advanced submarine-launched ballistic missiles or SLBMs, India is rapidly closing the gap. A new development has emerged regarding the Indian Navy's future strike capabilities. Reports suggest that the Arahant-class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, called as the S-4, is being prepared to carry the lethal K-5 missile. India already has several K-series missiles deployed on submarines and warships, significantly strengthening its deterrence against China and Pakistan. These submarine-launched missiles have a range of 5,000 to 6,000 kilometers, covering vast regions including Australia, Africa, China, Russia, the Middle East, and Europe. The K-5 is a submarine-launched ballistic missile or SLBM, developed domestically by the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO. It can carry a 2,000-kilogram warhead, either conventional or nuclear, and may extend its range up to 8,000 to 9,000 kilometers, with lighter warheads. Currently, the missile is integrated into the Arahant class and S-5 class submarines, with future plans for deployment on additional vessels. The K-5 is expected to feature radar evading technology and countermeasures, making it difficult for enemies to detect. It may also incorporate multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle, or MIRV technology, allowing multiple targets to be hit in a single launch. At present, the Indian Navy operates K-4 SLBMs, with a range of 750 to 3,500 kilometers, but as new submarines are developed, more advanced missiles like the K-5 and K-6 will be required for extended range capabilities. Additionally, SLBMs from the Agni series could be deployed. The Agni missiles are globally recognized for their power and are particularly feared by China and Pakistan, as they cover the entire Pakistan and nearly half of China. However, the advanced K-series missiles are considered an even more formidable upgrade, representing the next generation of India's nuclear deterrence strategy. With the integration of these cutting-edge missiles into its Arahant-class nuclear submarines, the Indian Navy is poised to enhance its second strike capability, ensuring a credible and far-reaching defense shield. As new submarines and long-range missiles come into play, India is reinforcing its position as a formidable maritime force, capable of safeguarding its interests across vast oceanic frontiers. What is your take on this? Do share us your opinion in the comments section. That's all in this video, do give a thumbs up if you liked, also share with your friends. If you are new to our channel, then please hit the subscribe button. You can also support us by becoming a member, and get access to some exclusive perks. Take care, and thanks for watching.